the Mizkif, the magic conch decides Mizkif's fate. Close call for Maya. Um, okay, I think that's it. Let's watch what, uh, let's watch what Hassan had to say about Bruce. Ban invasion after racial tirade on his all? Dude. Racial tirade? What? The lone <laughs> exile. 27 month subscriber. What racial tirade did he go on? What did he do? What was it? Is it dare oh god forbid was it was it anti-white again oh no he oh went no on, oh no oh no he went on oh no that's the one that's the big no-no dude he said the c word like four times that's awesome <laughs> that is fucking hilarious dude are you serious <laughs> that is awesome that he is said awesome, indefinite dude. ban for telling races off we live in a world where you can't speak the truth Hello, uh, Bruce Dravimov. Twitch is committed to keeping our community safe. Okay, we'll look at this in a little bit. I didn't even realize what the fuck was going on, but... Just give me one week, I got this. Oh, no. It's the... Oh, I can't wait for this discourse again. Uh, from... From the people who brought you Why Can't I Say It... Uh, now, uh, their, their favorite, their favorite combo is the most, everyone's a liberal. That's dude. exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said about destiny and his, his, his chat about why can't I say that? I should be able to say the N word. Everyone's destiny literally wrote a whole manifesto on Reddit. It was pages long about why he should be able to say the N word. Fucking liberal. Oh my God. Everyone's a goddamn liberal from the, from the people who brought you. Why can't I say it if they get to say it? Their new favorite thing is, why can they say cracker? They oh should God, not be able to say it. it. That's a racial slur. I'm legitimately upset. It's just stupid. It's so dumb. Like, Still the same game. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't even see that science. You're talking about dead space. Yeah, yeah. literally. It, like, what that the game fuck was not fun to doing, me. Man? Didn't scare me I don't want bit. none of that shit in this community, okay? We are proud. First of all, First and foremost, this community is like overwhelmingly white. Okay, this is a 60% white community. If I hear from a single motherfucker that Cracker is like a legitimate anti-white slur, I will clap you so fucking fast. <laughs> I do not care, okay? It, I'm not playing with this silly bitch shit. I'm sorry. It's the dumbest fucking concept, okay? I'm white. You are the most bitch-made person on the planet if you consider cracker to be a legitimate slur i am not playing the song and dance one more fucking time literally everyone laughed at twitch when they did this already and most other people on reddit laughed at the lsf subreddit for trying to make this a bigger deal and it's because it's ridiculous it's fucking ridiculous i felt so good not participating in like a lot of this weird fucking bullshit drama for a while now um but god damn dude people are so so insane c word is a slur next we need to tackle the lack of straight clubs yeah it's not a slur, but any word that is used in a racist... What about honky? This way that makes you a racist, <laughs> context matters is all. Yeah, no, totally. You're right. Yes, uh, <laughs> Bruce is, is an anti-white racist. There's never... We will never be able to have this... I, I've, I've had this conversation about whiteness being oh a, a, a made-up uh, concept that... Is literally built around power adapter. and proximity Wait, to power. Wait, what's a Wi-Fi adapt? What's a Wi-Fi adapter? If you're talking about like Wi-Fi on my my PC, I don't have Wi-Fi capabilities. I only have Ethernet on my motherboard. And therefore, like anti-white slurs is straight up. Anti-white slurs are like anti-straight slurs. It's like saying breeder is fucking hateful. And if you're trying to run a stream on Wi-Fi, you don't want to do that. Like imagine someone getting banned for breeder. 
you want to do you street you should like, stream on ethernet the concept if, of if cracker all possible. being an anti-white slur is so laughable i have that i in have Nabisco a 50 foot ethernet cable going from my living room into my office so Slurred i can these do nuts. ethernet affiliated fucking brand Ooh, Slurdy's nuts, Booney. What's up, Booners? How you doing, man? As a marketing strategy, sent me a cracker. Are you pass. off today? Do you understand? Like, this is the most like, this is the most man. Um, so yeah, I don't even know what a Wi-Fi adapter is. Like, is that like something like a like a USB device that you buy and plug in, or is that something that you have to like upgrade onto your motherboard? Manufactured outrage you could I ever know, arrive at that works. when like a multi-billion dollar mega corporation and its marketing division doesn't even think Are you that talking about like the Wi-Fi like your router like the thing that like like the box that like literally gives you Wi-Fi throughout your house This is a risque marketing technique to just get like free brownie points from a Twitch streamers community by offering them a fucking cracker pass that they built Where the fuck is it? I'm gonna bring hold on all good and no okay. buy off, not just off work, but smell off. It's just wild. Wait, all good and nope, I'm. It's wild. It's off, like it's like moderating Karen. Work, oh, you know what? Go without a shower. Bask in the smell of your greatness. Anyway, um. Okay, yeah, like what? Yeah, post it in the Discord in the media. Yeah, that, or something. it's lame as fuck. But we already knew that Twitch was lame as fuck when it comes to this stuff. So it's uh, it is it is what it is, I guess. Uh, but yeah, free do. Um, I I don't understand what the fuck that was about. But I want to see because this video is short. I, I have another one that's longer. I want to see if he actually like listens to the Bruce rant. He didn't ban evade. I, I don't know what the ban evasion part is. What I thought he got just banned. Prime, well, that's ban right, evade. Booney. No, nah, fuck the C-word stuff. Who cares? But Bruce has been weird as hell, acting like Nick isn't black and telling people to off themselves. What do you, what? And see, okay, that chat is very easy. Like, uh, you don't want to tell people to off themselves. I understand that. But he didn't say Nick wasn't black at all. He was also but what Bruce was saying when he quit OTK is that he didn't want to be viewed as the one black guy that was trying to do positive PR for Mizkif. Like, it, uh, NMP wasn't out there doing that. NMP wasn't going on, like, Mizkif streams trying to, like... Like, uh, make his PR better, but that's w what Bruce was being used for, and he felt like that. So, he uh, Telling that's why he said that, but he didn't say like, uh, NMP isn't black, like, he didn't say that at all. Word stuff. And I don't even think that's NMP even thinks he said that, but NMP seemed... even made a joke where he, NMP was like, Oh god, Bruce is right. It was like he got banned <laughs> for the C word thing, right? Oh, this is a ban uh this is ban evasion. Yeah, got. but okay, he got banned on his alt channel for the race uh, the anti-white racist rant and then went live on his main channel got banned for ban evasion. Oh, I thought this said like for hateful misconduct or something. Or you yeah, yeah, same with, with all me, sizzle. No, don't worry, I keep me. that thing I on me. Ethernet. Don't fucking worry about um, it. Sizzle, like I said, especially now, just be careful. I have nothing wrong really with that stream, so but twitch does this, but don't you think the c word should be treated as the uh, like i've said before i was other. in hassan's chat and watched one of his mods get banned for saying i like cheat to eat cheese and the c word the words oh. even without the background do you think people should get banned for fucking saying cracker do you think people should do you think people should get banned for saying um for using Wait, what Karen? did this chatter say for fucking saying cracker i don't normally watch your stream so i might get hate for this but don't you think the c word should be treated the same as other words even without the background i'm not saying it's an anti-white thing but i don't see anything wrong with saying it but in twitch's eyes they should see it as same thing right i mean any word like hassan said in that one clip you could use any word uh to hurt somebody's feeling you know but it doesn't make it racist the reason why the N-word is racist isn't because it's just a word that hurts their feelings. It's because it's a word that backs systemic oppression. Like, generations. 
of systemic oppressions, literal slavery. And it was like the last word that people still sometimes hear today before they're like literally like murdered by a fucking racist cop or were lynched back in the day. There's no such word like that that exists for white people that can like literally oppress them. That's used to oppress people. The C word does not oppress you in any way. Do you think people should? But if you want to look at it as like, yeah, you're not supposed to harass people on Twitch. You can't like, you can't like, you can't, you can't like cause, you can't be like sitting there like, you're fucking stupid. You're stupid. You can't say somebody's like stupid over and over. You'll get banned for harassing them. Do you think people should get banned for saying, um, for using Karen? Do you think people should get banned oh for using Oh my God, Ramen, Redneck, you're so, you know Hillbilly, what? I should do that. Honky? No. Sizzle, because he has the pass. Because he has the pass now. But no, dude, the thing is, is Hassan could get banned for this. And I think he knows that. He got banned on his alt and then went live on main. But I think, I don't know, the... It, like I said, Twitch was like very like it didn't make sense what they were doing because Hassan got banned for saying it when he literally called somebody the word in his chat. He was like, "You're a c-word ass bitch" to somebody in his chat. Whereas, like, he actually his mods were getting banned for just making jokes like you were. So it was like very confusing, and that's why I say just be careful all around. If Twitch feels like banning you for it, they're just gonna do it. Um. I am the past. Hassan yeah, that's has probably me. why he got clapped. But like, he should have never gotten banned on his alt for that shit either. But yeah, Sizzle, you, you know what? You can't talk about how Do whatever like, you feel is right themselves, which is unfortunate. But that one I understand. That one is more reasonable, even though sometimes you want to let that out. You know what I mean? You want to let it out. You just. It's built inside of you. And, and, you know, sometimes some people do deserve to hear that. I'm going to be honest. Like, it's um, just. That's okay, like, I want to hear if he actually watched any of. I'm all over the place. Let's talk about anti any, any of the, the Bruce rant. White racism and how big of a problem it is in society nowadays. Okay. You're the Seriously. Triforce sizzle? Like an even You're the bigger Triforce? problem than the top of the hour oh ad God. break. Because the top of the hour ad break, you can just avoid it. Right. It comes to the top of the hour. It's three minutes long. And you can ultimately avoid it as long as you subscribe for $5 or for free or by getting gifted a sub, right? But anti-white racism is everywhere and you can't avoid it, you know? <laughs> like, for example, go to a bar, go to a nightclub, okay? <laughs> You're expected to dance. White people can't do that. And that is anti-white racism, okay? Sleep well, Sizzle. I'm excited to it's hear true. about your mic tomorrow. Tomorrow, if you need any help setting it up, like I might be asleep during the day, like I sleep during the afternoon and stuff. But once stream starts, if you need any help setting stuff up, I'll, I'll answer any questions. It's true. Like, you could go, uh, like, live in Discord and, like, show me your settings and I could, like, help you out. Like, like you know all about going into your, down here, going into your, your sounds. You're going to have to, like, go into your recordings, select it as a device that you're using and things like that. Stuff like that. African-American vernacular. Very cool. White people want to use it, but when they do, they look corny. That's anti-white racism. I'm sick and tired of it, okay? Why can't white people sound and look cool when they use cool vernacular? Okay, why? Why can't they do that? Why? We should, as a society, make it illegal to make fun of white people using uh, AAVE because... You know, uh, and, and we should all collectively act like white people are not looking corny when they use AAVE. That's anti-white racism. We need to solve that. Uh -huh. um, why do you love ads so much? Literally no other streamer makes such a big deal about ads. <laughs> True. Yeah. Lowest ad density on the platform. That's anti-white racism. This man coming after me because I'm white and I'm serving ads. That's anti-white racism, okay? Three-minute ad break coming at the top of the hour. He's going to see it. You don't have to oh, as man, long as you science, subscribe. That's weird. Or get gifted a sub yeah, if you're lucky. Your message got blocked you know? like that. But that must be like you can also get gifted a, a different auto mod. Because so like auto mod, whenever if something get gets subs, blocked, five people no see the it literally gives me the option to approve or deny it. And I would have approved that. Ads, that's so weird. Okay, here's the three-minute ad break now. Play this anti-white racism agit prop. 
They had a hip hop festival in the suburbs. Y'all yeah. look at this and shit. I like those stylish clothes you wear. And I like the way that light hit the ice there. And I can see you coming way over there. If you want to go and take a look. Wait, here, let's, let's look at this video. My Wi Fi box is all the way in the, like, the kitchen. And my PC is all the way out here. But my Wi Fi adapter is like this. And it connects through the back right here. And these broke. See, it like comes like straight out, bro. Wait, okay, hold on. Let me see this closer. My Wi-Fi box is all the way in the like the kitchen. And my PC is all the way out here. But my Wi-Fi adapter is like this. And it connects through the back right. So wait, does that connect? to a port on the back of your PC or do the cables go inside the PC and like connect to the motherboard here and these broke see it like comes like straight out bro so that's that's my question for you cuz if if it's connected to the motherboard then you're probably going to have to buy like a whole new one and get it connected to the motherboard dude that's fucked up that see you like should I said, not be allowed to make fun of that. If I were you, I would go on Amazon and I would buy a 50-foot Ethernet cable and just drag that shit. It's going to be so much cheaper for you than going and getting probably a whole new Wi-Fi adapter and getting it hooked up to the motherboard. That, and of course, wouldn't you, wouldn't you know it, non-white mod. And the, and the reason why you want to get such a big one is because, like... You, you're not going to want to run it like in a straight line from the Ethernet cable to your, your computer. You're going to want to run it along the wall, right? Like different areas so you're not tripping over it and shit like that. See that? You see that? He's being racist. Twitch, come after him again. Ban him. He's black. He's making fun of white people. You've done it before. Please, I would like to make sure that, that uh, this man is, is uh, taken care of. I'm just saying... But yeah, because um, I know you were talking about like uh, streaming in the future and stuff like that, doing like reason stuff. If you're streaming on Wi-Fi, what's going to happen a lot, no matter how good your Wi-Fi signal is, there's always going to be times where it cuts out and things like that. And what's going to happen is your stream's going to shut off and you're going to have to like restart your stream. And that that's that's anti-Y racism. You should not be allowed As a to streamer. Make fun that of it's these, the worst uh, feeling when your stream okay? gets cut out and you have that to restart. should be illegal. It's it sucks. I've heard many streamers say that your app policy is the best uh, for viewers on the platform. Yes. I gotta go to the bathroom. Not real only quick. that, but like Twitch itself literally yoinked it and it teaches it to other like up and coming streamers on their like uh, workshops. My girl white, so we good. She gave me the pass. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I have a white friend. I have a white girlfriend. I'm sick and tired of this. That's what I mean. This is like, this, it never stops. It never stops. It never stops. Anti-white racism is, is, it just never stops. Oh, wow. You have, haha, <laughs> you have a white friend, huh? You have a white girlfriend. Wow, that's cool. I see what you're doing there. Why? What is happening here? I do actually want to investigate this further. Like, all jokes aside, I do want to understand what the fuck is happening here, okay? Like, why is it... Who put this together? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, listen, 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 listen. Listen. Something I've been meaning... Oh, my God. For the past... Okay, you want to know what ADHD, you want to know, you want to know what life with ADHD is like, okay? Devastating, it's so hard. My life is so hard. For the past fucking, I mean, it's not, I'm joking, but like, for the past fucking 25 minutes, I've been trying to turn the AC okay. on, on my Nest application, and I just keep forgetting. I literally keep looking down at my phone and then like you guys send me some other like cool fun shit to react to and then I just keep forgetting. It's literally a one second thing. Why? I just finally did it. 
It's what we, insane. What, what is it's he talking about now? Like, obviously, this kind of stuff is just dumb, stupid, not a big deal. I'm I'm joking when I do the ADHD. My life is so hard bullshit. But like, it's so fucking stupid. Like how? I know I want to turn the AC on. It's hot in here. Oh, he's I'm constantly ADHD. reminded by it because I'm surrounded by the hot weather. Okay. Did I forget to run the ad? Oh, come on. No, I did. I ran the ad. Okay, Jesus Christ. I was going to say, fucking, holy shit. No, I ran it. I ran it. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see what's going on here. Meanwhile, yeah. I'm going to go grab something. You know, I think, I think I do, too. I never thought I did. Go, go. And I was never tested for it as a kid, but I had the like hardest time in school. In like elementary and middle school. And I, I think I do too. Big time. What did he say? He said, we don't give a radio. See, like, like lately I've been seeing random like TikToks and stuff that'll be like, oh my God, is this how your like brain works? Do you have these thoughts? Oh my God, you probably have ADHD. And I'm just like, fuck. What? That's exactly how I think. Dude, this is, he said, we don't give a radio edit. It's not your birthday. This has to be a Mormon event. This absolutely has to be fucking LDS cringe. I love you yeah, too. there's Highlighted. zero black people. It so almost same, feels but like are it's you getting the same TikToks? At that point. And I don't mean deliberate in the sense that like uh, you know uh, redlining I've seen segregation. Those too, I mean Bodhi. like deliberate in the sense I've seen that like those we decided in our religion the, that black people were like actually like the only people who don't get to have their own planets, a, and they're like ultimately a thing the most where evil. Where it's like there's like people that are like completely, totally like functional people that have autism. And it's just like little things where, and then there's like some people where it's like they can't function at all and need help, you know? Individuals. But, uh, which is, of course, what the Mormon no, church believed too, before like, they I've did a patch too. on it. Like that kind of segregation, you know what I mean? Not even on accident, there's like a fucking black person here. What the hell's going on? But like, just stop watching this song. One thing that is true is like, okay, there are people that have chemical imbalances in their brains and that need like the different types of medications that come from like that you get when you have ADD or like, like depression, things like that. But I do think that there was a huge overprescription, uh, um, or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, overdiagnosis of things like ADHD in the nineties that got a bunch of people hooked on basically like speed. Um, but there are some people I that feel like really they had need that Black medicine History Month or something. Them. Oh, dude, I, think I love some that. People it was That's like so not, fire. It's not what they needed. I think some people needed just to be disciplined. They a are little observing bit black culture. Better. Wouldn't this make them violent? I mean, you can tell that they're becoming more violent. That's exactly. See, that's exactly the problem. I had such a hard time, like, paying attention in school. There was this, like, thing. It was called, like, Sylvan Learning. It was, like, a learning center, like, after school where, like, you could go and people would, like, help you with your, like, homework and stuff. And even there, I would just sit there and I, like, wouldn't want to, like, pay attention. I couldn't pay attention. It was, I just was so cool. okay. bad. And then I remember there was a point in high school in 10th grade where I was like, fuck, I just want to start, like, focusing and actually paying attention and, like, applying myself in school. And then I started getting straight A's. You can tell. Look at him slapping his hands. He said like three words. Yeah, oh no, I don't play that one. Either. I'm definitely neurodivergent in some way. Maybe. What is neurodivergent? I have not ever looked into that. I've heard a lot of people say it in the past few years, but I've never looked into it. Yeah, I'm going to look it up right now. I feel like NMP. Somebody in, in his, his, his NMP's chat will be like, how do you feel about capitalism? And he'll be like, wait, what's capitalism? Exactly. <laughs> I love them apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. <laughs> Isn't that right, Barbara? <laughs> I wish you would wear them apple bottom jeans with the boots with the fur. Got the whole country club looking at her. She hit the flow. <laughs> Okay. 
Shorty got low, okay. low, low. Oh, that's I understand right, now. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bro, this is so funny. I mean, I love this. Like right here, you just look describes, at shit like this. And then, the term neurodivergent describes people whose brain differences affect how their brain works. That means they have different strengths and challenges um, from people whose brains don't have those differences. Then you think like, what the fuck are people trying to preserve when they're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I know. And I think that's the whole point is like, he's not like, Hassan's Evil. not actually saying this is <laughs> Fuck you horrible. mean, dude. This he's, is, the, this is, he's th using this example to prove his point about Bruce. Desperately needs to be more diverse, this crowd, okay? No, 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 no. But no, this is great, yeah. <laughs> Yes, mama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely not Mormon. Too many tank tops, but definitely has LDS event vibes. Dude, this is great. Bro, this is cultural appropriation on his words. See, this is what I mean, okay? Listen, listen. People always fucking say, like, Hassan, you, as a white person, should not get to have final say on, like, white people doing cultural appropriation about, you know, uh, black culture shit, right? But, like, I like content, Okay. I can't stop myself. <laughs> and like, Middle if school, white people were not yep. allowed to culture, yep. do cultural appropriation, we wouldn't have like so much fun, cringe content out there. <laughs> okay? Yes. Yes, exactly. Us white people need to be able to do AAVE and cultural appropriation so everybody else has something to laugh at. Okay? That's the point here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like... <laughs> this isn't cultural uh, appropriation, no, it's what cultural his, What slant. Hassan is doing is he's just clowning right now because there's all the people that are, like, upset that Bruce said the C word. They're like, That's, it's racist! <laughs> he, that's uh, all he's doing right now. This is, in, this is in Brentwood, Tennessee, not LDS white, just Tennessee white. Tennessee His white. audience, like he said, that is, like, 60-something, 60 65%, I think he said, like, a white audience... He's just, he's just clowning around with his audience, just like laughing at themselves a little bit. <laughs> this just in a song likes cultural appropriation. Of course I like cultural appropriation. What do you mean? I've, first of all, I have tailored my entire, I've tailored my entire life around being a fucking Amerabu. What the fuck do you mean? Obviously it's a little bit different because in that situation, it's like the dominant culture in general. So, Okay. If anybody is confused about cultural appropriation, whether it's like, oh, it's totally wrong or it's totally okay, it's, it's nuanced. Just like most like, topics in the world. There's some things where it's like, okay, bro, like anybody can have dreads. Like anybody can dread their hair. Like if I don't wash my hair for a few days or like brush it, it starts to dread. Okay. Like that, that just happened. But are you going to go out there? as like a white person and like wear like some like native american like headdress to coachella like that's like that's just, like that's like one you're gonna offend those people for sure but it's also cringe as fuck it is so cringe so there's some things where it's like yeah there are problematic things and then there's some things where it's like okay some people are just getting like overly mad and it's usually not even that group of people that are getting mad about it it's like some like harvard professors or something like that some people on twitter like getting mad about it that like who aren't even a part of that group uh is is american culture like this like like how we talked about how uh a couple weeks ago valkyrie had to apologize for using aave terminology it's like come on like we can't be out here like gatekeeping terminology like that like uh, saying on god like that's only for a su certain group of people to say that's just ridiculous that's overcorrective behavior um, it, it's just, it's obviously like, this is the culture of the oppressor in that circumstance. It's a little bit different than like the marginalized, uh, uh culture being oppressed and, and exploited. Um, but you know, look at the progress we made. This would have never happened 20 years ago.
<laughs> this Jordan, would have never happened to serve ago. you a lawsuit for mental damage to playing this shit. I this think that's what the chatter is saying. Look at the progress we've made. A party like this would have never happened 20 years ago. 11. Ramen, thank you for Ruben's reminding me to group. stay hydrated. This is them. This is what they do, apparently. Dude, I love that. It's like, I mean, it's so obvious what this is, right? This is like, you know, black music without the scary black guys. <laughs> Like, that's, that's literally what this is, dude. It's so sick. It's literally black culture that you can consume in a safe way because you want to still have, like, proximity to black people in general. I mean, come on. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's kids, kids bop for adults. Yeah, exactly. There are instances of that, of like where, That's the same. like, like, look at, look at, uh, just like rock and roll music, blues music, even like that was like created by black people. And then like, uh, white people took it and, and, and exploited it and made a bunch of money off of it. Uh, and then like, like you look at somebody like, uh, like say like Eminem, like a white rapper, dude, like he grew up in that culture. Like that was him. That was his life. Uh, you know, but then there's somebody like Miley Cyrus who like comes along and like does those rap songs where it's like she's clearly just like kind of like exploiting this culture just like to make a bunch of money off of it and then just completely forgot about it and it was like, okay, I'm I'm back to doing country now. Same thing Pop as Elvis. Music. Dude, I, a there, lot of there's people say this about where it's like, okay, like you're you're kind of appropriating that culture a little bit just to make money off of it. Or it's like, no, that person is like literally like Eminem a part of that culture but i i'm it's sorry life. but like you know elvis has some fucking wrongs but from what i understand like he grew up in it you know elvis, what I mean? yeah that's another people example always, people always say this about elvis it's the one person that like literally grew up in it and was straight up like uh the I don't know how to describe it. I was gonna, I was gonna use Aiden Elvis Ross did some badass shit too. Like when uh, Martin Luther King was assassinated, he uh, he he did some like Christmas special, and they like didn't want they wanted him to sing like Christmas songs, and then he did like one song that was like dedicated to Martin Luther King, and they like Elvis is like the Aiden bro. Ross, you know what I mean <laughs> of of music. <laughs> <laughs> but that definitely that definitely no. shits on Elvis yeah, way more. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, I for sure. Um, I think record labels definitely use them as a vehicle, as a vessel to like uh, commodify black music, to uh, commodify black music to a, a white audience. Mm -hmm. I mean, but Elvis is like Eminem in that regard. You know what I mean? Do you do you understand? Like Elvis and Eminem are in the same vein. We're like Eminem still accepted, okay, still what considered to be valid especially for his era, but also definitely was utilized by record labels to, to put a white face on black music. And, and Eminem himself was, uh, you know, from a similar background, similar upbringing. Like it was, it was, his experiences were real. It wasn't like, uh, he wasn't like an industry plant in the, in the sense, and, and neither was Elvis, you know, these guys like, they grew up with black people. They grew up with black culture. They consumed it and they uh, they lived it, you know, and, and they appreciate they showed appreciation to it rather than like, uh, you know, the, the Kardashians. Right. Do you understand? Like, they're not like Kid Rock. Exactly. So that's why I always feel a little weird making that okay, like saying Kid that about Kid Rock's actually bad, though. <laughs> Yeah, kid, like Kid Rock. Yeah, he's definitely doing that, but he's also like racist. He's like, yo, I'm gonna have the Confederate flag in my rap video, my country rap video, uh, bro. Uh, Elvis, especially. Like, I also for the longest time literally thought that like Elvis was just like straight up ripping uh black music and and ripping Kid Rock black culture, sucks, dude. Uh, without realizing that like like as a person his and his own music background just sucks. Not good music. Uh, is from that culture itself and and certainly he paid a lot of respects at a time when there was 
What did that say? Vanilla Ice was a CIA plant to steal Black 90s rap? Um, th there were actual uh, serious legal consequences for it. You know? God, that just proves like he even wasn't... more of the CIA. They just suck, dude. They're just like, can't do anything right. They he was to plan all these coups and shit like that, and they just fail them all. <laughs> that was such a failed coup, bro. Like, uh, like a, he Everyone wasn't just a guy who was just like, ice. yeah, I personally hate black people, but I'm going to steal their music. Like, he wasn't like that, you know? Yeah, BB King vouched for him. A lot of, yeah, a lot of blues legends gave props to him. You know what I mean? Now, what about John Mayer, though? Do they give props? No, I think they do give props to John Mayer. I think a lot of them, like, play with John Mayer. But that, who knows? That might just be because they're like, yo, he fucking got a lot of clicks. White people have been dipping their toe in black culture while ignoring any of the substance for years. Eminem was still blasting the atmosphere because he was white. Motherfucker had a movie deal three years after his album dropped, not to mention him rapping about raping his mom and girlfriend on the reg. Yeah, no, for sure. I, dude... Eminem came at a perfect time for, like, angsty whites. You know what I mean? John Mayer, hallelujah. Straight up. Like, he, he, there's a reason why he has one of the fucking, uh, wait, wait, let's see. Eminem, Eminem also like, had a lot of really albums, problematic, like, highest, homophobic lyrics. Like, there's a lot of shit that he said that. Highest sold rap album of all time he, still. He, even back then was like, whoa, bro. I would hear shit and I'd be like, what the fuck? The F slur being thrown around all the time. I was just like, what? Yeah, he sold 1.7 a lot of people eight, said that uh, shit 1.8 million me, copies in his first week, the Marshall fucked. Mathers LP. It just felt it fucked. debuted like, at number 1 it in 2000. Felt like such a bad and it word. broke records for the fastest selling hip hop album of all time and the fastest selling solo album in the United States. The Eminem show in 2002 is still the highest selling rap album. So like I yes, think that was one of the, the first highest albums selling I ever rap album as a kid. Perhaps throughout history is still always going to be a white guy especially with the way that like album sales work now you know what i mean because like it was it was the eminem show but also i think i bought disturbing the peace by Ludacris on the same day um i had it i but had actually no the first albums i ever bought the first one was paranoid by black sabbath um there was a day where my dad took me to uh on take your kid to work day and I heard, I heard, I think it was Paranoid or Iron Man on the radio. And I was like, yo, what is this? I need this. And we went and got that. But then like a year later, I heard Eminem and Ludacris. And I was like, oh. The, the, this is my I shit. had all of his albums. I bought them in, tur in fucking Turkey. Okay. I had a cassette. I still remember. I had the motherfucking cassette. And the album too. Like the CD as well. I was a very interesting sixth grader. I got into, I was like really into rap music in fifth grade. And then sixth grade came along and Slipknot became my favorite band. And so I was like, I had just gotten like three months before that I had gotten Air Force Ones. So I was rocking Air Force Ones and then I got into Slipknot and like my mom wasn't about to go buy me like a new pair of shoes just because I got into some new music. So I was like at school wearing like a Slipknot shirt with Air Force Ones. There was nobody like me nobody people would call me out for it too i had some people be like what the so heck? and i'd be like yeah, yeah. dude i was actually kind of embarrassed yeah the top three best-selling hip-hop albums now of I all time I'm like, number dude, three is so marshall dope. mathers the the 1999 the one the Air 2001 Force ones and, a Slipknot and shirt. number two the score by the Fugees, like what, and then like, number one is like the eminem show which i remember like kardashians and them started we're doing later on in the future we're in we're in the iron maiden shirts that they got from walmart with their having their both Nikes. a cassette and cd of they're Yeezys. And this is like... I was ahead of the game. Probably, perhaps... Perhaps all, always going to be the number one uh, best-selling uh, hip-hop album of all time. So think about that. Be wearing all black with white... Uh, you know white, what I mean? White shoes. Think about that. 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 Like, white guy. There's a reason for that. Kids right? now will think this is what people are small say. sticky tape. Yep. You're right. You're right. You know what? My last band, that band narrowed that I've showed you guys, the punk band, we put out cassette tapes. They, when that was a very the popular thing amongst like underground touring bands was, uh, was cassette tapes. Because vinyl, 
was was the like the popular thing that like uh, only like underground bands did and then vinyl became mainstream where big bands were were printing vinyl and everything record labels were printing it to the point to where like small bands were going to these same record uh companies the the vinyl printing companies be like yo will you print my records and there would be a back order of like a year because like, all the big bands were using it now and so then we started switching over to cassette tapes like record labels like absolutely take advantage of this shit same with Elvis Um, but from what I understand, like at the time, man, I, you guys, oh, man, now I'm like, I'm thinking about the air force one days. I literally had to get put on a list at the Nike store to be able to even get those shoes because they were, because after the song came out, everybody wanted them. A lot of, uh, uh, black entertainers in the same era as Elvis also, respected elvis and said he was good give me two per and uh, i would even go so far as say it was like similar to eminem like i don't think a lot of people shit on eminem force ones. <laughs> yep boonie it's sad yep but this is definitely the way God of damn it, this land. person didn't rewind the VHS from Blockbuster. I gotta do it for him. These lazy fucks. Who doesn't rewind their, their VHS before they return it to Blockbuster? And it's like, who, how old are you? So. What kind of life did you live? Anyway. You were in the before times? Elvis created the black musicians that came before. You had some the too nice highlighted. Let's go, dude. Us, faces. Yeah. us 69 year olds. Uh, no out matter here what happens, like strong, ultimately, um, I totally understand I know why. What's people crazy? Seer is going to be 34 this year. What a legend. Who would have resentment? What a legend. Race issues in this country have genuinely what a very legend, long man. historical precedent. Given it, making all of us feel like we can keep impact. doing this forever. Uh, uh, on, Just like on, Lemmy you know, and Harris. People and growing up in all those guys. Uh, otherwise white America. There are still plenty of like overwhelmingly white spaces. I would go so far as to say Twitch is one of so those bad, overwhelmingly but it's only white on spaces console. as That's well. Up. It's made a lot of leaps Bullshit. Uh, over the course of the past couple of years in becoming less white uh, and, and becoming more welcoming uh to to uh black culture even and that's a, a overall good thing but you know there's still issues right and that i think ties perfectly into the first story that i want to talk about bruce drop them off now for those of you who don't know last year i got banned for saying uh cracker i i ah, used it as a racial term against a white person uh, i got banned for a week this came, of course, after Salty. my mods were unjustifiably banned for having for using the word cracker in the chat. Um, cracker, for those of you who don't know, which I will be uh, calling the C word, I guess, uh, throughout this process. For those of you who don't know, is, yeah, is an anti-white <laughs> slur. It's considered Booty an anti-white uh, slur. Uh, this was just this, hearing the word. Is, well, it wasn't even last year. It was like the year, PTSD it was entering whites. the last year. Okay, the pressed class. In and then Bruce also said it, and he also got banned. Um, this was, you know, this was last year. Um, Did Bruce get banned for it last year, too? Because I remember he said it on Ms. Kiff's stream, but I don't, like, we were, t like, Sizzle brought it up the other day, and I just couldn't remember if he got banned or not for that. Bruce said it again. Uh, he, there was some drama that I'm not very I guess he familiar did. with. I don't if know what the fuck I, happened. Bruce could be wrong, uh, decided know. to leave I don't remember. OTK. Um, and then I guess he got like a text message from Miskiff or something that really tilted him. Uh, I, I don't know you exactly know, what happened I don't happened even there. know what the message was, but I guarantee Miskiff hit him up on some like, yo, bro, I hooked you up with this deal. How could you fuck me over like that? Just leave so quick, blah, blah, blah. I guarantee that's what it was. And look, Bruce is like, you hit me I up don't on know some what weird happened, shit. Okay, but from what I understand, he uh, went on his alt account to vent. Big no-no. Especially when you are, uh, you know, you're, you got controversy going on and you got people up your ass. Because as we all know, exactly. a lot He's of same, Redditors same. and a lot same. of stands but no, love I know. I was just creating extra you know outrage. That. Okay? A lot of Redditors... Create extra outrage. Because no when you said report, reason. I was like, oh, what this is, is this? 
perfect perfect timing to say this and and uh they try to fucking bully you they try to come after you and they try to basically uh they try to basically use your weakest moments uh against you right and for those and who want to know human, like we- it was 100 percent destiny's community like he, he bruce went on his alt channel to like address the comments that they were saying and they are the ones that mass reported him to the point to where twitch took away the report button uh from what i heard um like they couldn't send in any more reports um and they reported him so he got he got caught for it it's not like twitch has some kind of like c word auto detection where like the moment you say it it's like oh you're you're possibly gonna get banned somebody has to report you for it and we all have weak moments anyway so let's see here this is what he said this is what he got banned on his alt account for. What I've always known. But call me Milky Don't, don't let you say anything wrong with the white man. <laughs> don't critique the white man. They can critique the black man to the fullest and put clips in fast mode and make us look like monkeys. That's so true. Like literally just weeks ago, Destiny was like, these, these like black streamers are loud and obnoxious and I don't like them. <laughs> what? And now they're all like, he said the C word. He's all they but like to, I but said, they don't care that he said the C word. They just don't like Bruce. Oh, don't you dare say something about white people. Man, that shit's so fucking like are on fuck me. them cracker ass niggas. Real <laughs> they're shit. On, there you they go, me for that, then so be it. Oh, I yeah. See y'all niggas. Know, I, okay, first of bro, all. Fuck, I don't even want to. Fuck, I don't even want to. I was just about to say a joke about. Can I say this joke about myself? Like, I don't even know. Um. I'm just going to say, like, I, it wasn't even a struggle meal for me. Like, saltines and, ch- and uh, cheese was, like, a go-to. <laughs> well, I just got to point this out really quickly. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, bro, my neighbor is loud and obnoxious. Yeah. I'll take, right? I have this. Uh, I would like to make one for uh, maybe even send this one to Bruce. Uh, I feel like in his time of need, he's going to need this. Okay. Okay. It we says, saw Hassan go over this uh, in the last video. Presented to Hassan Piker, but okay, we can. Okay, I, let's skip. Where uh, I think that there is a. I mean, if he if he was talking about people like kissing themselves, then you know that's understandable that he would get clapped for that. He's talking about uh, video gaming yourself. For those that don't know what he means by saying kiss yourself. Policing the word is dumb, but I get Twitch acting on this. It's the intent and tone, in my opinion. Bro. Fritz and no Le- matter what's, what. What's Lachira? If that, I that's call a, type of cheese? I don't, a, a hysterical white lady a dumb Karen, okay? Like, that's insane. A stupid fucking Karen, let's say. But it's like, that's the thing. is like, Karen isn't even just used for just white ladies. Like, you call anybody a Karen. Like, you're really going to sit there and be like, well, the tone matters there. Yeah, I intended it to be a pejorative, okay? I have a 50-foot one, uh, the bomb. I, I, don't, I don't know how... Wait, in the video, did you show how far away it was? My Wi-Fi box is all the way in the, like, the kitchen, and my PC is all the way out here. But my Wi-Fi adapter... Well, okay, so I, 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 don't, I don't know. It's hard for me to judge how long that is and how long you're going to have to, like, go around your wall to get there. But I have a 50-footer, and I have it. I have slack. Like, a, like there's a coil right over here of, of the slack that I have. And I, 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 like I said, I it's don't dumb have as it fuck. in a straight line. It's so stupid. A straight line. No one, no one fucking, like, words have meaning only because of our like colloquial association with it, here, right? Here, Danky, here. Did you see the video earlier too? Here, I'll just show just so you can see. Because mine, I feel like mine's about the same distance. Is mine might even be longer than this? My Wi-Fi box is all the way in the like the kitchen, and my PC is all the way out here. But my Wi-Fi adapter is like this. But yeah, like like you. It, if you get a hundred foot, the most you'll have is just a bunch of slack on one end. It's not that big of a deal. But um, I have a fifty footer and I still have slack. And 
Yes, you can manufacture outrage, yeah, sur uh, outrage surrounding a word, safe. especially in like a space that loves doing shit like that. Okay, but ultimately, it, it's it's context is what matters, and and uh, even make if you talk sure, about like tone, make or sure you have an available Ethernet port on your your modem, because uh, um, mine was like I only had one available. It's taken up by other things. Tension. Even if you're saying a word, you can say any word in a hateful way. You know what I mean? Ultimately, an anti-white oh, slur okay. is a is a slur that oftentimes those who are Sweet fucking marginalized are utilizing against those who have the power. Okay? That's why I'm not defending the, the kiss yourself shit, which I understand. Sometimes you want to say that. Okay? There are people on Reddit bragging about mass reporting him on both channels to the point that Twitch stopped reports or something. Yeah, I See, I, I heard that too. I saw that on Twitter. That, that is what happened. Okay, I'm glad I that I didn't just hear that one time then. Anyway, don't fucking say any dumb shit in the chat because I'm sure when I talk about this spicy facility story, there's gonna be a lot of people, a lot of haters who are probably looking to report uh random chatters and shit as well. They get real petty with it. People get real petty with it. It's just the way it is on the internet, unfortunately. And there's not really too much you can do. Add at another person's decision no matter what some of these niggas some of these man if i say if i was about to say what i was about to say like it, it's facts but i'm not even gonna bring that up because that's their business but some of these the, the decisions that some of these niggas make in life period most of them need to just kill themselves but i think this is probably like thank you yeah thank you Rickler. that part is like that's what I, that, that's how you It's a feeling it. that we've all had. I yeah, myself have good. certainly wanted to say that to people in the past. That is unfortunately a big no-no on the internet, which I also have an opinion on. I think like, I, I've called this uh, humorously the, the uh, kiss yourself pass, okay? I feel like you should get kiss yourself tokens, okay? <laughs> if people keep telling you to kill yourself on the internet, you should be able to like lock those up in a, in a token, and then pull it out every time and be like, well, I'm cashing in my, like carbon <laughs> credits. Yeah. Carbon. I'm cashing in my kill yourself tokens here. Uh, this I is have satire, guys. 735,000 okay. kill yourself credits. I would like to use one big kill yourself in this moment. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I think, because like everyone loves doing it. Everyone loves saying it. It's an understandable thing to say. Uh, but yeah, I, I totally get why he would get banned for that. Okay. Yeah. But the cracker thing is so fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be telling people to, to kiss themselves. Not, not right. You know, I'm supposed to give people saying we can't tell people to kill themselves when they're literally you shooting people. You think so? Thank you. He's been gifted subs here before. Yeah. Anyway, that's choking, though. The serious part is uh, the, the Yeah, he, he saw your comment. Thing, and he was like, oh, fuck, in my opinion, and I've been very open about this many, many times over, um, I don't think is it, it meets the metric of like a pejorative, or a slur, an ethnic slur, a racial yep, slur. Yeah, the shirt's gone. That, he literally threw it in the uh, trash. That that meets the bar of like banning. Twitch obviously did go, doesn't did you go agree outside with his me house on this. Check his garbage. And um, I know you live in LA. You probably yeah, live like the, right around the corner from the, him, right? the killer saw part. Does make sense. Just that, like I live like, in Vegas. It makes sense why you would get banned for that for sure because of the, the decisions that they make. But you live like right next to Hollywood, right? That, though, but I respect his opinion. But what he didn't know is. Yeah, how fucking seven, um, seven. <laughs> you wouldn't even, uh, you wouldn't even go cars there. Cars were, you know what I'm saying? What happened Monday? What I you just got your pinky to way too high up there. Oh wait, and okay. Here, I want to hear what Bruce has to say again. This is the whole reason we're listening to this is because I want to know what Bruce had to say. Me on this, and um, but yeah, the like I wanted the, to the killers Bruce's all part does make rant. sense. That like. It makes sense why you would get banned for that, for because sure. Because of the, the decisions that they make. But we're not going to speak too much on that, though. But I respect his opinion. But what he didn't know is yeah, how fucking seven, um, seven uh, cars were. You know what I'm saying? What happened Monday, what I just expressed to y'all. And the text that he sent me has something along the lines to do with Oh, my that. God. This person in Hassan's chat. Bold, dude. At saying how Wild it didn't happen. Out. Man, I'm black, bro. I have legal guns in my crib. You know what I'm saying? That is dangerous. Point blank, period. So I don't know exactly what happened here, 
Yeah, but I don't know what's I, going he, on. I think he got in trouble with law enforcement. I don't want to talk more about it. I don't I don't want to say anything else because like if he didn't fucking mention it, then it's not my place. But I think he's saying like as a black person with legal weapons in his house, that is additionally lethal for someone like him to get in trouble with law enforcement over some fucking dipshits on the internet. Oh yeah. Who are are hundred you know, percent Philandro Castile. The dude that was murdered by the cop when he literally was like pulled over. His girl, I think his girlfriend was driving, or he, I forget who was driving, but he literally let the cop know, yo, I have a concealed carry permit I'm carrying right now. And then the cop just shoots him. Doing a thing that we all know. Now, I don't think this is, I don't even know if this is misgive. I don't know if he thinks it's misgive or not misgive personally, but like Ms. Kids in his fan base. I don't even think that it's his fault. There are other communities at play here, other communities involved in this that have been like very hypercritical of black content creators for some time now. Um, I don't know if it is him. I don't know if it was his uh, fan base. I don't know if it was other fan bases that have been very critical of uh, uh, black content creators overboard. But I know that it was, uh, it was Miskiff that texted him. I know that. I'm saying, but I don't know if he's like correct in making that assertion that he thinks that it was like whoever sent uh, trouble his way. Uh, I don't know who is responsible for it. Oh, you know? man, that sucks. Did he get fucking swatted? That's so shitty. And what I will say is this, okay? What I will say is this. There is an unfortunate reality with like... Even if you yourself have like done everything even if you yourself have done everything you can to make sure you've cleaned out your community of like psychopaths psychopath hate watchers could still do shit like that because they do that do you get it do you understand Not to mention the shit, the, the fucked up shit that is being said regularly that people don't see I had to turn off DMs once your haters found out I was black yeah. Yeah. This is a, uh, ultimately black people can't do wrong in general. Uh, that's not true. I shit on Candace Owens regularly. Also that is your, you know, that's a very racist fucking take. We know exactly what your background is when you say dumb shit like that. Okay. Um, I'm not in the business of like, uh, you know, I have never been and I will never be in the business of like people being like, well, I'm black, so you're racist for criticizing me. Okay. I, I think that sometimes assholes use that. But in a lot of other circumstances, when someone is talking about being black as their own personal experience in an overwhelmingly white space like Twitch, there is a tremendous amount of validity to that. Okay. You will not understand it. Okay. I guess, or in general, does not change the, the, the statement that that chatter was making, okay? Bruce literally did that, bro. I don't think Bruce is wrong. Like Bruce Lamont, I don't think so. I, I think that I a lot of people are going to get anger. mad at me for saying this. Idiots, and I don't yeah. know the exact extent of what Bruce has said <laughs> yep. thus far. People were saying that he was shitting on Nick Pollum, which uh, I don't appreciate if he was doing that. He I wasn't. like Nick. Um, but... I, I think don't think that he was. I like I said, Bruce Nick served, even made a joke where he said Bruce was right. Like serves a very different audience. Bruce was just making the point that he felt like he was being used as the black dude to give the positive PR to Miskiff. Kai. And I really, really resonated with when Bruce said it always felt like a family until it didn't. That I totally understand. Serves a very different audience than every other content creator I feel the same way serves in like um, in, as an enjoyer of that if order. that is uh if that is what he was talking about then that's understandable but saying nick's not black is unacceptable i think he, I if he said that I which don't, i don't even believe i don't think he said that i have not heard that anywhere i think that's people just trying to making that up just to prove their point that bruce is a bad guy I believe he did uh, but to make uh, it seem like I, I would be very surprised. Bad. He wait, wait, somebody just said it in the chat. Let's see. He wasn't. Uh, wait. 
He wasn't shitting on him directly, just indirectly by the implication he was making. I don't. Think uh, but so. uh, he wasn't shitting on Nick at all. He said OTK was using him like token black guy. Yeah, that's exactly. I I would be very surprised. I think people probably people probably jump to that conclusion. But I don't think he's like, he might have said it jokingly when they were friends. I don't even know if they're not no longer friends or yeah, not. Yeah, Danky, yep. I don't know what Nick's perspective is on this matter. Um, but there's a difference between the audience that Bruce, Your Rage, Kai, and so many other, even Aiden Ross, the audience that they serve versus uh, the OTK audience versus every other audience versus my audience, Okay. Like, my audience is relatively diverse, but still very much white, okay? Just the truth. And for that reason, I think Bruce, when he talked about, like, for example, defending Miskiff after the N-word stuff came out and doing content with Miskiff, even after, you know, plenty of members in his community never forgave Miskiff um, for old statements that were re-released, old things that he had said that were re-released, was Bruce talking about his predominantly black audience not respecting Bruce's decisions in defending uh, what Miskiff had said in his past? And like I okay. like I've said a bunch of times, Danky said the same thing. Anybody that's like been watching Miskiff like knows that these are re-released statements. We've been over this. This was something we went over years ago, and it to me it seemed like Miskiff like understood how wrong he was and was trying to be a better person w when it came to that kind of stuff. Um, but I can totally understand Bruce's audience just now hearing that being like, what the fuck? I totally understand that. That's it. I doubt that he would like shit on Nick openly though. I think that's, that seems a little bit more like a he, drama pervert yeah. trying to create like additional narratives. He didn't do that. Unless we hear him in this rant say something about NMP, but I don't think he did. So, what is this? Yeah, woo! And he do a kick. Oh yeah, kick, <laughs> see, eight. this is the joke. Kick one leg, go for it, eight. Do a little curl. Yeah. Best play I ever, Nick. Yeah. Nick, no, you, you, you get dirty. Get dirty. Get dirty. Okay. This is such a complex fucking issue to talk about, especially with an overwhelmingly white audience. It's a complex issue to talk about even in fucking black spaces, okay? But like, no, Hassan, play the video. You know, Azanabi. especially if you're talking about like the rest young, uh, like Zoomer black kids who watch W play, content. Keep it going. It's an incredibly nuanced fucking subject matter uh, to 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 parse through, especially I as a as a white person. But like, um. Hold on here. Make your turn. Listen, listen, all I gotta say is Bruce was right, dog. Bruce was right. You know what I'm saying? What? I don't know what the fuck, you know. He was yeah, play it, his son. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's joking. Yeah. Everyone is joking. Finish yeah. the clip holy. You can't go five seconds without pausing. Okay, guys. Bruce is right. <laughs> I, I know that he was gonna say that. I know. This doesn't change my perspective on anything. Shut the fuck up. Calm down. They're all literally joking. It sucks because, like, we're trying to have. We are trying to understand the intricacies and nuances of, like, black experience in an overwhelmingly white community that is used to just, you know, having white culture be the prominent attitude, okay? Very good way to summarize anyway, that. Um, Very good way to summarize that. Beautiful. So... Um, but, uh... Wait, the one of him being beaten, Danky? By the, the intruder? Fuck, I didn't even know that was out there. Damn, dude. Yeah, well, obviously I've heard we're not some of the stuff that, that Bruce was talking about. Um, I heard some of the what stuff up, that Bruce Elbows? was talking about personally, as far as like him saying, like he put his brand out there, put his name Honestly, out there, he put his uh, send it he, he to me. I don't think I'm gonna watch out there it though. That, and, and oh, went out to bat for Miss Even shit though there were still plenty of members in his community that never actually forgave Miss Gift for what he had said. Like I, feel like I got hit in the head with a hammer. You guys know what my opinion is on people changing, right? Or, or, or people, uh, you know, changing their behavior, their attitude, and accounting oh, for their own okay. personal, uh, like, uh, 
personal bigotry from the past. Um, God, if only Never the dude just showed Jesus. up to his house just to be right. like, hey, I'm doing a citizen's arrest for uh, for uh, manipulating stocks. Brother, <laughs> Inside like, trading. It's not, it's not for you, nope. you know what I mean? <laughs> Even that would be psychotic. It, it's not. Still, it's like, not. Fuck, you just like... Like, Paul Pelosi sucks. Like, I personally am very forgiving. But that. also, I'm white. You know what I mean? I understand that, yeah, like... Hey, this is what you get for racism training, is a sir. is a byproduct of white oh, supremacist no, social... Oh, no, I, I guarantee it's not Twitch appropriate. Uh, no shucks. way. So, of course, a white kid from New Jersey is going to be fucking Hassan fast and loose the N-word. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, is this it, As actually? long as they Wait. recognize that it's wrong and stop and never do it again, that's the best thing you can do. You know what I mean? That's... Is that that's it? What, oh, fuck. He might have watched it. That's my... Perspective he probably on the reacted matter. to it okay full cam or something and and uh i i hope that was good more understanding as well ultimately and i think that like you know uh, uh black people that are uh consistently surviving in white spaces living in white spaces are also are pretty understanding of that because you know they have to be understanding of it they experience it every day but if you are Otherwise, like uh, an audience that is predominantly black, there are going to be people there that are not as understanding, which is also, I, I get it. You know what I mean? I, I totally understand. What is this? Yeah. Anyway. Why can't Chad be charitable with Hazanabi? He's clearly an ally to the cause. Well, I mean, it, it, I don't care about that. No one is charitable. <laughs> My point is to try to... If you want to think, I think we have to explain it for idiots like X Chain Fire X again. I think there are a lot of these guys in the chat currently. Well, some of these guys in the chat are just coming because, like, this is spicy shit. Some of these guys cannot... Some of these guys can't, like, escape their their prior conditioning you know what i mean they just can't bruce thinks you can't be racist to white people bruce thinks you can't be racist to white people he's being racist himself you can't be racist you can be racist to anyone idiot we're talking we aren't talking about systematic racism okay without systematic oppression racism to a a uh, otherwise like dominant group is just meanie bobini words yeah, you get that right fifi's like, hurt this is a fundamental concept that some people, even long-term community members, cannot comprehend. Okay? Black people aren't upset because the N-word is a mean word. Black people aren't upset because, like, it hurts their fucking feelings. It's because it is a reinforcement of the white supremacist systems that they currently are forced to live in. Okay? It also comes with, like, 500 years of fucking baggage. Yeah. That's exactly that's the problem. what I said earlier. It's not just, oh, man, I'm so sensitive. And a lot of white people, for some reason, and I even understand where they're coming from when they don't get it, but, like, a lot of white people don't get this. They just think it's, like, a mean word and that, like, that is the reason why, uh, you know, people are, their feelings get hurt, and that's the problem. It's like, no, that's not the reason, okay? For that's some why people, when you talk about... It was the last word they heard before they died. Like heterophobia or when you talk about anti-white racism it's a laughable concept okay it's laughable because no white person has been harmed by virtue of being white it's never happened at a systemic level because whiteness as a concept was used as a political tool as your proximity from blackness it goes back to the but you don't want to know why white people are oppressed and and along with everybody else for being poor. The one drop rule that goes back being to being a part of the working class. Whiteness was basically an overarching umbrella. And that's that, why, like, like Anglo I've, said, I've said this a bunch recently, that's why Martin Luther King, after civil rights were won for black people, he went on to the people's movement, which was about uplifting everybody in the, the poor and working class. Saxons decided to add first the French people, then the Germans, which they originally... That the people in power use things like racism to divide us in the in the working class so we're not working on dismantling that we're just fighting each other over being racist 
originally declared to be too swarthy to be considered white, then the Scandinavians, then ultimately the Greek and the Italians, which are not white, of course, still to this day, in my opinion. And then, uh, you know, the Slavs and then the Jews. Okay. This is an ever expanding umbrella of people. The only, and now Latinos as well. Now, the only group of people that will never be white are black people because at its root, whiteness is about not the color of your skin, but about your proximity to blackness, okay? That's why throughout history, there were plenty of people who were not considered white that are now firmly within the white Irish category, people. okay? They were not considered white for a while. That's just how it works. Now they are. It's a, it's a, it's a, whiteness is a concept based off of purity. Like pu purity. I'm not saying it is pure, but like that's like it's a white uh, concept based off of it being like, oh, are you pure enough to be in this group? Whiteness is about power. Yeah, that's, yeah. When you're white, you can track your ancestral lineage down to the motherfucking Ellis Island, down to the motherfucking, uh, you know, generations of, of barbarians. I'm Turkish. I'm white. I come from a, a country with a history of imperialism, right? The Ottoman Empire. I know what my grandfather's grandfather's great, 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 great grandfather did. You understand? Black people in this country, especially African descendants of slaves, do not have that privilege. And that is precisely why they were forced to create a homogenized black culture, which is rooted in intergenerational struggle and oppression because yeah, black people that, in this country were just can't African people and trace back. But their blackness came about because their African culture was stolen from them. And all they know is the new black culture that they have. Ancestors. Because they were not, they, they didn't come here on their own volition. They were brought here as slaves. They were raped. They were sold, they were trafficked, they were killed, they were murdered, and they were enslaved. So that is the reason why there's a difference between black culture, for example, which is an identifiable, tangible thing, and, no, and, and you know, white culture, which is not. That's why people make jokes about white culture. That's why people don't make jokes about black culture in the same vein. Okay? This is a complicated process to understand. So I'm, I want to be as charitable as possible to those who don't get it. Okay? But that's the reason why Bruce doesn't believe you can be racist to white people. Okay? What? Overcooked at this point? Take. What about Native Americans? White people were also sold into slavery, same as blacks. White people were also sold into slavery. Yes, it has. Yeah, I mean, I can't address that. Like, that is, that, that is like, entirely different. Okay. Indentured servitude and chattel slavery are significantly different from one another. Please stop making this fucking comparison. No one in history makes this comparison. Okay? You just sound like a fucking idiot when you say that. You have subscribers from before Ritzgate that still feel this way. People just sub and not listen to you speak. Like, how does this opinion exist from a 22-month sub? I think you, they just pick and choose. They, they don't want to, like, they don't want to hear it. Here, I'm going to untime him out. I want to hear if he, like, changes his mind in and, and any capacity whatsoever. Okay? Yes, you can be, like, mean to individual white people, and it's fucked up. You shouldn't, like, automatically make that assumption that makes you a mean person, Right? In a lot of instances, it's a self-defense mechanism. I talk about it all the time. Marginalized communities regularly put up self-defense shields mm -hmm. because of the experience of living in a white supremacist society. Because Why do you think women say all men are trash? Experiences that they've had. They're doing it for self-defense, which is still, it's not great, especially when you are uh, doing it to someone who doesn't deserve it, right? And that's mean, and that's fucked up. Discriminatory, Okay. But as far as like black people being racist, black people can be racist. Black people 
are racist sometimes, for sure. But the type of racism that black people engage in is not anti-white racism. It's white supremacist anti-black racism. It's internalized racism as a consequence of growing up in the American schooling system, in the uh, American uh, dominant cultural hegemonic attitudes towards white supremacy and how normalized it is. There's a reason why even black people come into this community and go, what the fuck? I never learned about the move bombing. You know what I mean? In 1985, when a Pennsylvania city block was literally destroyed with C4, dropped from a helicopter because the Africa family was, uh, was living there. You know, that's like, there are, there are people who are oblivious. There are black people who are oblivious to black history in this country. And that's because they learn white education. Okay, that is white supremacy. That's a byproduct of living in a white supremacist society. It is by design. That's why you have black people that have anti-black sentiment, for example. So yes, black people can be racist. Okay. Black, black people can also be like discriminatory towards other races that are uh, non-white as well. Okay, everyone can. But when we talk about like the racism that we experience or the racism that we understand as like racism, it has some form of power structure behind it. Okay. It has a systemic root because without systemic oppression or any sort of, any sort of like contemporary oppression associated with it, then it's just mean fucking words. You're just mean, you're a mean person, yeah. you know? That's why I always use the Karen example when we talk about this. Nobody says Karen is the K word, right? The, the, the quintessential uh, white lady calling the fucking manager or calling the cops on a black person. You know? No one would turn around and go, if you, oh, this person said, fuck you, Karen. Wow, well, that person actually is being racist to white women. And as a matter of fact, he should be banned. Or that person is being misogynistic and racist to a white woman. I mean, I've heard guys you know? called Karens. Anyway. Oh my God, that silence was nice for a moment. Anybody else feel that? that that felt good i'm white latino and white latinos could be extremely racist i mean even dude not just white latinos latinos could be extremely racist too there's also colorism there are a million different issues but when we're talking about a black person saying the word cracker like there is no matter how much energy you put behind that most people will always understand that ultimately it's just fucking not a real thing not a real issue you get it it was great not you can try Tomorrow to go with the, like, the dictionary definition. Webster, Miriam Webster's dictionary definition of racism, all you want. Okay? Of course, I know the difference between systematic racism versus being someone being mean to someone and using slurs pejorative to refer to their skin color. I can't type. Okay, if you understand the difference between those two, why the fuck are you like writing for this? Why are you writing for this? Well, at the end of the day, if Twitch is laying down that ban because they felt Bruce was just harassing somebody, being mean to them, then that is a part of Twitch TOS. You can't, like, harass people. But, uh... Just because... Doing it just because he said the C word, it's literally placating to, like, these white nationalists that, that literally just want to get people like this in trouble just for that. They don't really think it's racist themselves. I say this all the time about, like... I say this all the time about, like, women rad femmes that fucking uh, say shit. Like, Do you think black people deserve reparations? Yes. Yeah. I don't 100%. know what, uh, you're, what kind of, why you're asking this question currently, but yes, uh, I do. But, um, for example, I, I, I talk about, like, rad femmes, right? The kill all men. Men are toxic. Kill all men, rad femmes, right? They're fucking annoying. They're rad libs. They're annoying. They're stupid. They're silly. Who gives a shit, ultimately, okay? There is no, like, mass neutering of men movement occurring in society. And you have to be, like, an insane person if you believe that that is happening. It's like getting upset 
and and genuinely making a political movement out of like a bunch of fucking psychos chirping with no power whatsoever. Okay? It's people that are lashing at whatever they can because they are living with a sense of powerlessness every fucking day. All right? It doesn't even make their concerns valid. Some of them might be, but it doesn't make their concern or their sentiments valid. But you're just, but it doesn't matter ultimately. It doesn't. And it's the exact same thing as like, you know, someone using the word cracker. Like, what the fuck do you mean? You think there's like serious anti-white racism happening? I think legitimizing this notion that like the C word, especially a funny concept, because like when you say, go out there and say the C word and like, it'll be the seventh word that people think is like an actual slur. You yeah. got like three better ones before yeah, you get to that. You know what I mean? There's actual slurs for the C word. Um, but the, the C word, right? Making a movement out of that, making it like giving it any kind of legitimacy as though it's like a powerful fucking word that is an anti-white slur is really counterproductive and it's capitulating to white supremacists who often take on this conversation and weaponize it. Mm -hmm. It is no different than the... I just said this five seconds ago. Ron burning Nazi guy. When he's burning the Quran, he's not doing it specifically to be like, fundamentalist Muslims are actually, uh, you know, genuinely devastating uh, to their own communities. And uh, I think that like uh, Islam has a lot of uh, reformation that it needs to go through. They're doing it specifically because other people are going to get on board with that and they're going to go, it's free speech. Fuck these Muslims. You're right. You get it? And some people, unfortunately, do jump to that. They do rush to that and they get baited hook line and sinker so when you sit here and try to legitimately defend the concept of like anti-white well you can anti-white racism when you sit there and try to fucking defend that shit you are kind of oblivious to the the uh, defense that you're engaging for people who have other intentions okay the guy, I he's he's keeping talking that they have no I racism. I but I they're not just saying we're racist. You can't have racist. Oh, it's Tommy Robinson. Oh, leader of the fucking EDL line. Tommy fucking Robinson. What's he cooking then? Let's hear it then. Let's hear what he's doing. He's defending England. That's right. Let's hear it. Yeah, Islamic Islamic you can't actually... keep saying racist without giving me an explanation. Listen, listen, please give me an explanation. Can I just, can I just say something? At, at, your, at your rally yeah. In, yeah. In, in Newcastle, you stood next to. Do you think he was fairly banned for the uh, the kill yourself comment? Curious on your opinion. Yeah, I think, like, I get why that is. Uh, there is a outright ban on that. I agree. Uh, I also understand why you want to say that sometimes. I get it. You know. 100%. But, I, but that's a valid ban for I sure. Don't. I like, would yeah, never say, say that to anybody. That. I mean, I, I want to so bad. Trust me. Like, I want to say it all the time. I want to fucking... I want to say it from the goddamn rooftops. Do you understand me? I want to fucking get on a rooftop and scream it sometimes, motherfuckers. But I can't. And I get it. I It makes sense. It makes fucking sense why you can't say that. It does. It does. So if you got banned for the kill yourself comment, like, straight up, that's, that's valid. But the C word is fucking ridiculous. Get the fuck out of here. The organizer, while he was chanting, complete lie. send those. No, complete and lie I can't again. Say it home. Complete lie again. No, no, it's not on YouTube. No, okay. it's not. It's an edited version. Look. You don't see the person on the stage saying it. It's a lie. It's so a lie. who's saying it? No one said it. You've read it. Every time someone has their arm and up in the air, that you say it's a Nazi salute. Please, can someone? T every time, so every time no. I put my fucking end up in the air, no. and I'm a fascist, right? And I do the fucking Roman salute. You say I'm a Nazi. <laughs> oh, why are they saying I'm a fucking Nazi when I when I simply believe in Nazi ideologies? It's fucking bullshit. God, fascists are so fucking annoying to deal with. Jesus, it's a Roman greeting in it. It's a Roman yeah. greeting in it. <laughs> why does the title say "Gay Lover Attack" when it wasn't copium, dude? 
I know Paul Pelosi was clapping them fucking sweet ass cheeks, dude. <laughs> Why are you so good with that accent? Because I d deal with this all the time, okay? I hope tell you heard me, that thing. What we say, that <laughs> is no racist. No one is saying that, by the way. No, no, can someone tell me what so we what say is racist? What you're doing is, no, you're generalizing. We're highlighting truths. You're generalizing. The truth is not about We're highlighting fucking truths, lad. <laughs> a whole okay. race no, of people. I'm not people generalizing. No, I'm not. Just on your face. That's what's racist. I mention a certain sex. This by the way, his truths that he's highlighting are like, we need to, <laughs> we need to send the black people back. <laughs> That's the truth that he's highlighting. And then he's mad that his like, but by the way, this is Tommy Robinson. For those of you who don't know, who is the leader of the EDL. Uh, EDL is the English Defense Thank League. Thank you, Ramen. Definitely like they're fascist, straight up. They're Nazis. Uh, for those of you who don't know, they're like literally out and about Nazis. Like they don't even hide it. But of course, whenever they're on television, they're like, oh, no, I'm not a fucking Nazi, mate. Why would you say that? Right? Just a bit of banter, that sort of thing. Um, but like they are, okay? And. Um. Yeah, his real name is what, like Yaxley Lennon or something? What the fuck is his name? Okay, I don't care about listening uh, to this guy. But you know, they do the same. But they're like really fucking stupid. So they're not even very good. Uh, dude, I love, I love doing that. So, so anyway, I, I think like bro. I've described it up and down so many fucking times. But you know. I just don't see how calling white people something like snow, insert animal, insect here is productive and will move us forward in dismantling structures of white power. This only helps white supremacists radicalize white men, in my opinion. Yeah, but like, you don't have to run the defense for them right now. You yeah, know what I literally, mean? bro. Like, like, come on. I get that concept. Yeah, but you're literally running defense for them. <laughs> you switched up your tone aggressively from here to this. Okay. That's the difference. Like, if you want to have an it's, optics conversation, yeah, sure. It's this fine. is literally just a destiny chatter here to have a debate with Hassan. You know? Yeah, you're right. It certainly does, especially because this is a white supremacist society that we live in. And white people are hypersensitive to that kind of thing. Okay? Henry Pekka? No, no. It, it, there, I would need, like a, like, a really British name. You packing them? You packing them? That's right. You packing them? No, that's not working class though, mate, is it? You packing them? Sounds like I was living in the streets of London. I need like a good looting name, right? Fucking. It's like, like a yeah, right all you proper... say to this guy is like, oh, okay. So like, so, okay. Some of those like, uh, the, those, okay. When Hassan gave the, the white nationalist burning, uh, a Quran example and he said there's gonna be some people that just see that and they they're like oh yeah hook line and sinker I want to join that movement I, I'm, I'm for that exactly you don't need to like placate to that though you don't need to be like oh fuck we need to like Bruce shouldn't say what he said just so he doesn't like radicalize some fucking white people that are on the fence like no Labor lad. you need to explain what Hassan's doing and explain the black experience it was turned ED fucking L, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Howard Packington. Errol, that, that is Errol just like pa ignoring history. Packington. Old Harry. That's what they call me, Harry. Uh, get fucking owned in the marketplace of ideas, you dumbass Destiny Chatter. Fuck, dude. His show is The Morning Ew. Harry! They call me Harry. I mean, Piker technically works, to be honest. The Duke of Peckerton. Oh, that's a different accent. There is a... There's a... Uh, an upper class, uh, upper crust of society, Tory Brit that you can do like the. Yes, that's right. I'm Henry Peckingham the third. BBC. Um, I news. went to a university, uh, but before that, uh, I went to a college uh, in the heart of London, where L I learned Destiny the Chatter. works of uh, Omer, the Odyssey, which I can recite by heart. I went to college uh, and uh, learned Omer's Odyssey, which I can recite by heart in the uh, original Latin. That's right. It's very posh. 
<laughs> Very nice. Yes. Mm. That's mm. so true, Ramen. That's perfect. Quite right. Yes. Very nice. Mm. Every time I see a homeless person, I spit on them uh, with hopes that maybe a piece of my greatness could uh, improve their lives genuinely. That's uh, what I learned from my pop up. He was never really around, he was too busy having sexual intercourse with children, as is the Tory way. What? Love you have a BBC. problem with that? It's, uh, it's, Unfortunately, it's Ramon culture. Sizzle's not here to screenshot Up there with that, incest? What, but I am. What's next? You're going to uh, talk. You're going to criticize incest too? Splendid. Unacceptable. It's called a bit of nonsery, and it's Got a it. part of our culture. Saved. Fish posh. Yes, he was a pedophile. Okay, I'm I'm good on this. Like this person is so articulate, that sort of shit. But when it comes down to it, like you're oh, not. Oh, there's more of the Bruce. Yeah, like, more from the Bruce conversation. To carry I down. Okay, I want to that's make what sure I want to hear that the more. Tories. His feelings when it comes to so. No, delete. Nope, it's screenshotted already, Ramen. I got like, it. like this is a place for like, person is so articulate, that sort of shit. Acker is a big problem. That is on if you, then just talk. Um, that part is certainly understandable. Like, it's totally valid. Then just, ironically, what they fucked up on, they should have just, like, hyper-focused on. If your goal is to, like, make this a legit ban, to make it seem like this was totally valid, then just talk. They should have just hyper-focused on the kill yourself part. Because that part is certainly, um, that part is certainly understandable. Like, that, you will get banned for that. I agree. Right? Um, but as far as like, oh, he said, uh, cracker, like he was talking about white people and he was being raised towards white people. Like, yeah, that, that's so insanely fucking stupid to be honest. Anyone radicalized with the C word probably would have ended up being radicalized anyway. Yeah. If you're yep. like, if you literally personally thought like, uh, if, if you genuinely were like, oh, I'm at the precipice of like turning a new leaf and becoming a better person and like learning about systemic racism. And then I heard uh, a young black content creator refer to like a young white content creator as a cracker and i am now like you know now i'm racist like dude that's crazy like that is an insane fucking uh moment yeah, of radical you would have been like, radicalized your fragility anyway. was so fucking your 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 mental fortitude is is non-existent you know oh the bomb are you uh like, what's the goal here you the bomb are you uh um are you, I, Brian? Could you could you get a hold of the bomb in the DMs? I think he's accidentally typing his Pornhub searches into Twitch chat, like Zoop does sometimes. You want to tell every black person, like, hey, I he probably has this on mute you know, right now, so like maybe DM really him bad, or something. But like, you got to be fucking nice uh, Thank to, you. to to white people, so they don't like hold up uh, white supremacist uh, structures, reinforce them, and continue being racist. Did you put up a Twitch's racist banner on stream like Putin is bad to support Bruce? <laughs> no. Anyone who says it's impossibly racist against a particular group is hard to entertain is not looking for an out to act pretty horribly with a free pass. Okay, but like, while that is true, while that is true, what is the worst thing that's happening there? Like, there, it's not like, you know, anti-white lynchings are happening. No, there's it's nothing not like, like uh, it's overwhelmingly black police departments are like hyper policing white suburbs and fucking killing white people. You know what I mean? Like, do you, like, what is happening there? Like, what's the worst thing that like, the worst thing is what? Like a, 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 a black person said, you know, uh, called a white person like a, uh, Cracker, that's, that's, Ramen. you know, that's the worst form of like systemic struggle that you're experiencing. You know what I mean? Ramen's all about those big, beautiful, so caucus. Anyway, yeah, don't oh, say wait, gringo. Oh, she probably exactly. means the it's British on the Broadcasting same vibes. Corporation. It's on the My same bad. playing field. It's really stupid. Uh, it's like being upset at like anti-straight uh, sentiment. You know, why no straight parade? It's fucked up. Um. And if you think that that is like all, it's a bit of a self-report really, because I think that a lot of people who say that that's mean and ruthless and rude and, and actually really fucked up are basically self-reporting. And they think that like, that is the reason why 
uh, uh, black people are upset about like the N word. You know what I mean? Because it hurts their feelings. <laughs> and that's not the reason. Without systemic violence, it's just fucking, it's just a mean word. It's dangerous. It's weird. I didn't give it attention on my main at all. And I'm kind of mad that I'm giving it attention on here. But the shit that people say, I just won't. I don't care if it's a circle of people that know the real. Y'all don't have to go spread this shit because I just want y'all to know it. I don't want them to know this shit. It's for Columbus? my core community to <laughs> like, know. Why people equate saying a slur to a slight more aggressive is swearing someone out and not a separate category of words that we extremely uh, that have an extremely harmful history. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, so he got clapped for this, and then he went live on his main, and then he got clapped for ban evasion. Um, I don't know if he got banned for the C word. He has been banned for saying cracker before, just like I have. Um, but uh, he might have been banned for the kill yourself comment, which you can also make an argument like Asmongold didn't get banned for saying uh, that. Yo, that is so true. Asengold said the same thing about who did he about Crazy Slick on his stream. That uh, Slick should die or whatever the yeah. fuck. Yeah. And then Bruce did because when people are hyper vigilant and they mass report you, you get clapped. It's the unfortunate truth, which is uh, boundaries are very vague. V vague. Fuck. Vague. Vague. Fuck, my V's and W's, dude. It's just fucking annoying. Okay. Um, but, uh, shut up. Shut up. Don't make fun of me for that. Oh, my God. I'm getting, I'm going to get triggered. <laughs> I'm bilingual. We do not have the W in the Turkish alphabet, okay? It is one of the few instances that I fuck up. Fuck you guys. Okay. Having a little brain malfunctions like that is always so interesting. Anyway, like it happens to me nerds. with things. It's just always like, damn, what did my brain just do right now? As long as boundaries are not woke, it's fine. What do you mean? Um, yüzleme ben de third deyince third anlıyorlar. Yeah. I bet you wish you had the kiss yourself credits. No, that's not something that meets the the boundaries of saying kiss yourself, dude. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Wow. Marianne Williamson says, at an albino owl. Anyway, um... So yeah, uh, that's my take. Yeah, on the there's a new thing. DLC um, coming out, but they had this thing on the the Bethesda Direct we watched where they said if you have Xbox Game Pass, all of the past DLCs are free right now, and I don't see that, and I think it's because I don't have the 14.99 version. I don't think he did anything that know, also though. like. Uh, I don't think he deserves to be like permanently fucking banned. But this kind of policing is, like, seen as totally acceptable, for the record. Like, when it's uh, someone who has now become the enemy. But I think, like, Zoop and I were talking that about playing. Weird that this guy you, wait, you, who named do you have that too? himself the Luddy is, like, doing that. Bruce I remember him. somebody was playing it not too long ago, but I don't think it was you. Off ban evades and goes live on his main channel after being banned on his alt. Yeah, I Zoop fucking I heavily about doubt that, one of these days. that Ludwig would want this kind of fucking shit in his own community, for the record. But I want to be able to play all of it. And, uh, yeah, but I don't know. I, I don't think I can. It's cool that it's like, uh, it's cool that I, I have yeah, here, I'll pull it up. not been paying any attention to LSF, and I will probably continue not to pay attention to LSF, even though the insects are going to come crawling in to try to get me sucked back in. Even if I type ESO, but, uh, nothing. Yeah, I, I, I wonder what community is, like, hyper-focusing on this shit. Only brings me the old uh, Elder Scrolls games. Uh, we have no idea. We will never find out, perhaps. I'm thinking it's probably for only for the people that LSF pay $14.99 a month. Today. Yeah, it's, which it's I just, just uh, paid this month. Or actually, it might be renewing soon. Hold <sighs> on, let me see. When is my subscription renewed? Only way to win is not to play. Exactly. I'll pay um, 14 bucks for yeah, a month. It's just, I hate that. 
Um, I don't like it. Uh, I, I don't, it was yeah, I don't cool even have when Elder everyone was like cherishing here. and celebrating, you know, uh, the W community popping off on Twitch. But of course, the understandable, inevitable reaction was going to come from. Oh my God, uh, that was close. from a bunch of like young black content creators like blowing up on this otherwise very okay, white I'll, space. I'll, I'll check that later. And the swing, the pendulum shift has come. It swung in the other direction, and now people okay. are being like. Then, yeah, hyper vigilant about that anything and everything it, that like do. black content creators do. I don't do. know when we're going to. And uh, it it but started off originally with day. like, oh, all black content creators do is yell, you know. And then it turned into uh, this uh, this individual black content creator is a is a anti white racist. It just sucks. Um, it's really gross. It's fucking shitty. Uh, I hope that you know this does not discourage other uh, other black content creators from like continuing the pop off, which I don't think it will. Is they're they're blowing up still. So many okay. I think we're about done up. with this. I don't think there's any more of the Bruce. I would say that brand. I I, I can't believe it. if that's what Bruce got banned for. I understand, like Hassan said, if it was for the kiss yourself part, I that's understandable for sure. I wouldn't say that to anybody. Um, but if it was for the c word stuff, that's just ridiculous. But then him going live on his main channel after he was banned on his alt that is ban evasion and i understand that but uh yeah i i just really wanted to hear what bruce had to say and everything we heard and from his alt stream it was just like nothing he was like pointing out the truth of the black experience in, in america especially even on twitch like black content creators that serve a predominantly black audience have been fucking demonstrably successful and that is not slated to change. And that is ultimately a good thing. Yeah. Okay. So that is that is different than prior iterations of this war that people have waged in perpetuity on All the right. internet forums. Okay. I don't no, know if Kelly's a predominantly asleep white now. audience. That's not true. Actually, you know what? Hold up. There's so one other video I want to watch. You just got to... You just got to keep your head down and keep pumping out content. You know what I mean? And don't get suckered in. Don't get triggered. And don't uh, get baited into. What? what? You mean Twitch? No, I think it is, bro. What? Did the same shit with speed. It's a green light to be racist. Yeah. Not good content. Um, Arbs, I'm the worst white supremacist on the planet. Wait, what? Okay, I got to this. Very upset at Bruce for saying cracker. Like, bullshit. Nice white savior complex, bro. Yeah, dude, you know. That's me. I love being the white savior. I'm so fucking... I'm yeah, so much of a fan. Adequately understanding the black experience in America <laughs> and this, the systemic oppression that still goes on is definitely being white savior. No. I I, I am a, perhaps Ridiculous. the only motherfucker who is like a white supremacist racist, a Turk roach, and also a white savior lib yep. who wants to He's wash the feet of, of black people once. and apologize for slavery. Like there's no, I've never seen a motherfucker who everyone, who, whichever community they're coming from, whatever, if they're barbs, I'm the worst white supremacist on the planet. Okay. If you go on yeah, TikTok, I'm know. the worst. Um, we just we, we watched the Bethesda Direct, and it looked fun. The the new DLC that's coming out. But the main reason why was because they said, oh, if you have Game Pass, all the DLCs are free. And it was like, oh, okay, this could be fun just to try this out, see what it's like. ...of misogynoir. If you're uh, one of those, like, weirdos, you could just be like, oh, you're doing white saber complex. Yeah, dude, I know. I'm breaking all the records, dude. I, I'm hitting every fucking... Wait. Or I'm hitting what, every avenue. What happened with the, the staff sit thing? Were, were you in the staff sit like when you came in chat earlier? Because that's what Bodhi uh, kind of said. No. He ain't saving shit. My cash app is still fucking empty. Exactly. You were? It was right then. Can you oh, conclude fuck. your view on the situation? I already did. If you got banned for the kill yourself comment, that's valid. That is an under, it's understandable to be upset. 
to that degree and say it, but it's also totally understandable that the platform That's was funny. banning for it. If you got like banned, I, for I had no idea that was going on. I literally just woke up and I was like, "Yeah, I don't want to do GTA role play today." For saying Cracker, it's stupid. I'm not going to entertain this bullshit. That. I do not personally believe. Um, I am uh, personally going to sit here and act like uh, it, it, this anti-white slur is uh, is. Uh, a genuine, uh, you know, anti-white uh, attitude that you are expressing, and it has like serious issues or anything like that. It's not. It's not a real thing. Stop trying to manufacture outrage around it. It's such a stupid fucking piece of the discourse, and it's almost always, it's almost always guided by people who still say the N word. Like it's literally guided yeah. by people who are white who love saying the N word. Like I said, Destiny and his community, like Destiny, literally wrote a manifesto. On how he should be able to say the N word, yet he is the one that's like, "Oh, the C word is racist." I'm sorry. I'm. I don't want to. They don't care about that shit. All they care about is weaponizing stuff like that to take out somebody they don't like. Fucking have this conversation a thousand times over, dude. These are literally white dudes who love saying the fucking N word, who then turn around and dupe you into to to advocating alongside them to like not allow black people to say the C word. What the fuck? Like, shut up. Come on. Come on. If you think that like there are systemic forms of oppression that are being uplifted and reinforced big plans in, 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 with respect to anti-white racism, you are literally fucking doing the same shit that conservative white people want you to say and do. It's literally conservatives who believe this. They think white people are under attack, okay? And what is the best avenue to like have this conversation? Look, this guy said cracker and uh, clearly white people are under attack. Get the fuck out of here. The way to solve that is not by, uh, by, by legitimizing this completely bullshit form of virtue signaling, okay? You don't legitimize that virtue signaling made by conservatives to, to defeat the conversation and to be on the right side. No, you educate people about the experience. Like Hassan just did. You destroy it, okay? You don't even fuck. And like I did. Let's be real. A lot of stuff Hassan said, I was saying it like a few minutes before. You can like, entertain it, but you just destroy it. Yeah. And I like watching Hassan Come stuff because sometimes I'll like pause and I'll like deep, like he'll say like, like a phrase. And it's like, okay, let me explain that phrase real quick because not everybody knows that stuff. But, uh,. Okay, real quick, I want to watch, I think since we're watching this, there's one more video I want to watch the 